In this lecture, we will explain the basic knowledge of radiation physics behind FIT simulation. If you studied radiation physics in your university, or if you have experienced with other radiation transport simulation codes, you do not have to take this lecture. Please make sure that some explanations in this lecture note are not strict enough because I would like to explain as simple as possible. At first, we would like to explain the difference between radiation and radioactivity. Radiation is a particles or electromagnetic wave that can cause atomic and nuclear interactions, such as neutron, proton, alpha ray, beta ray, and gamma ray. Its fundamental unit is electron volt, EV, which is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th joule. On the other hand, radioactivity is the ability to generate radiation due to decay of nucleus. Examples of material having radioactivity, so-called radioactive material, are spent nuclear fuel, plume containing cesium-137 emitted by nuclear accident, and checking source of cobalt-60. The fundamental unit for expressing the radioactivity is Becquerel, which is equal to 1 decay per second. Fire sparks and firework is a good analogy of radiation and radioactivity. Number of fire sparks decrease as time goes by, but size of each fire spark does not change that much. In the same way, radioactivity decreases as time goes by, but energy of each radiation does not change. For example, a checking source of cesium-137 with 100 becquerel becomes it with 50 becquerel roughly 30 years later, but the energy of gamma rays emitted from the checking source is still 662 keV. Next, we will explain the interaction between radiation and matter. There are two types of radiation-induced interaction which are atomic interaction and nuclear interaction. By atomic interaction, radiation knocks out an orbital electron from an atom, so-called ionization, and radiation excites an atom, so-called excitation. Atomic interaction is induced via electromagnetic force that can reach a long distance. Therefore, the probability to cause atomic interaction is very high, approximately 10 to the 8th times per centimeter. This is the fundamental mechanism to cause influence on life form and material. On the other hand, radiation breaks a nucleus and create new nucleus and radiation by nuclear interaction. Nuclear fission and fusion are a kind of nuclear interactions. Nuclear interaction is induced via strong force that can reach only short distance. Therefore, probability to cause nuclear interaction is very low approximately 0.1 times per centimeter. This is the fundamental mechanism to generate energy by nuclear power plant. As you may know, several kinds of radiation exist, and this table summarizes the characteristics of major radiations. Among them, photon, which is occasionally called gamma ray or X-ray based on their origin, is the most famous radiation. It has no charge and no mass in the same as conventional lights, but it has rather high energy and the ability of causing atomic interaction. We do not explain the details of the characteristics of each radiation, but one thing we would like to put the stress on here is that the abilities to cause atomic and nuclear interactions vary with the type of radiation very much and it is better to roughly understand the characteristics of each radiation before learning how to use FITS. The characteristics of radiation also depend on radiation energy. In general, high-energy particles have lower ability to cause atomic interactions because of shorter time for interactions. This graph shows the atomic energy loss of proton in water as a function of proton energy. As you see, the atomic energy loss becomes smaller with increase of energy up to around 1 GeV. On the other hand, 
high-energy particles can cause significant nuclear interaction and break nucleus into many fragments. This animation shows example of high-energy nuclear reaction. As you see, the original nuclei, the gold ions, are completely destroyed by this reaction. This significant nuclear interaction is called spallation reaction, which cannot be induced by low-energy particles. Next, we would like to explain about the radiation effect. You may feel that radiation is harmful to life form. It is true, but only one aspect. Radiation affects to life form and material in both negative and positive aspects. Examples of the negative aspects to life form are DNA damage, carcinogenesis, and even death, while the positive aspects are radiotherapy, sterilization, and trigger of evolution. On the other hand, examples of the negative aspects to material are deterioration, semiconductor error, while the positive aspects are graft polymerization for creating new materials. The primary index for estimating the significance of radiation effect is the absorbed dose, which is the deposition energy per mass, and its fundamental unit is gray. One gray is equal to one joule per kilogram. The absorbed dose can be used for both life form and material effects. The additional index is the effective dose or equivalent dose, which is the absorbed dose times weight factor depending on radiation type and energy. The fundamental unit of effective dose is sievert, and this index can be used only for radiological protection purpose. In FITS, the functions to calculate both absorbed dose and effective dose are implemented. Lastly, we would like to explain about the basics of radiation transport simulation. There are two types of simulation methods, which are the deterministic method and Monte Carlo method. In the deterministic method, radiations are transported by mathematically solving the Boltzmann equation for incoming, outgoing, produced and annihilated radiations for a discretized time and volume. Therefore it has short computational time but inaccurate in the case of complicated geometry because a lot of assumptions must be introduced to mathematically solve the equation. In contrast, Monte Carlo method reproduce the motion of each radiation in computer using random number and iterate the simulation for many radiations to estimate their average behavior. Therefore, it is accurate even in the case of complicated geometry but it requires long computational time to obtain precise results because the number of iteration must be very large. Owing to this disadvantage, the Monte Carlo method used to be used only in supercomputer, but recent progress of computer technology allows the accurate Monte Carlo simulation even using conventional PC. This is one of the most widely used Monte Carlo code in the world and details of the Monte Carlo method will be explained in the basic lecture 3 of the FITS tutorial. By the way, the name of Monte Carlo was originated from the Monte Carlo Casino in Monaco because it is like a gamble depending on random number. Here is the summary of this lecture. Radiation interacts with matter by inducing atomic and nuclear interactions via electromagnetic and strong forces, respectively. Characteristics of radiation such as cross-section significantly depend on its type and energy. FITS is a Monte Carlo code that can treat nearly all interactions induced by any types of radiation in any material. So, it is better to roughly understand the radiation physics before start to learn FITS but not necessary to fully understand because you will anyway gradually understand it by using FITS. Therefore, don't be afraid of Monte Carlo simulation too much, and FITS can guide you to the world of radiation physics. Thank you for watching this movie, and we hope you will watch other FITS movies as written in the subscription.